Hey guys, this is me, Kevin Murphy, on my channel called Narcissistic Abuse, Learning Who I Am Again. In this video, I'm going to talk about how the narcissist feels that they own you. So, some characteristics to look at um, when you're either dating a narcissist or you are being raised by one is, like I've said in other videos, you are not your own individual, you're not your own person, you are viewed as an extent as an extension of the narcissist or you're viewed as an object you're viewed as property possession um, the narcissist will do things and say things like you know you're not going to do this or you're not going to do that or you're mine you belong to me and newsflash we don't belong to anybody but to God and the narcissist will will guise this and make this seem so for example if you <clears throat> are in recovery and you notice that the narc in your life or the ex narc in your life is saying things like uh, especially during the hoovering process that you belong to me you know um you're mine you um you know you're you're this you're that um anything that that strikes as very, being very possessive that is not love and the narcissist will say well I'm only treating you this way because I love you I'm only doing this because I want what's best for you I'm only doing this because I know what's what's good for you and that 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 is the narcissist feeling like they own you um, part of it has to do with entitlement a lot of it has to do with entitlement uh, the narcissist feels entitled to your every move. They feel entitled to uh, your decisions. Um, they could be as simple, I mean, it could be a, a decision as simple as going to the store. They feel entitled for you to take them to take them to the store with you or to run errands for them and uh, be their, be, uh, essentially be their slave. And this, uh, this is not love. This is not this is not how you treat uh, a dog or or anything like that they they see you as just an object they see you as a thing to them or plaything and that's why the narcissist can discard you so easily because once once you're not operating it's it's almost like a broken you know it's almost like a radio or um, a, a cell phone or something like that once that cell phone is no longer working or that radio is no longer working or that car is no longer working we go out and we buy a new cell phone or a new radio or a new car and to the narcissist that's what you are you're a piece of property you're just something that 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 is good for the moment and then if you're not if you're no use to the narcissist anymore then it's like I'm done I'm done with you I want nothing to do with you and then they go find somebody else or they find a new supply and one of the things I, I want to really stress in this video and I want to stress in, in subsequent videos that I make if that narcissist finds a new supply don't get jealous of them I was watching another video I, I don't know I mean um, I'm trying to think of what this woman's name is it was kind of a random video I'm not really subscribed to her but I've watched a, a few of her videos before um, I think she goes by the name of Kim Wilson um, she did a video some time ago on how um, it, this was more this was more uh, tailored to relationships so she she taught this woman uh talked about and she's a good she's another good youtuber i've watched in the past I, I think she goes by the name of kim wilson i'm not i'm not entirely sure but you know if you're if you're interested please look her up because some of the things that she was saying was pretty good as well and one of the things i remember hearing from this youtuber is she was like you don't want to be envious or jealous of the new supply because they're just a new victim and she was I mean she she totally nailed it because that's all they are they are they're not anybody really worth being jealous of because that's all they are is a new victim and they're just someone that um, that you know they they start off in the same position you did when you were with the narcissist so to be jealous of the new victim 
is is very silly and you know if anything i would feel sorry for the new victim and that's all they are they're victims they're not anybody empowered they're not anybody they're, they're blind to the madness they're blind to the uh to the abuse and they're blind to the um the illusion that this narcissist you know how how the real person this narcissist really is other ways the narcissist feels that they own you is you know friendships you know if you're in a relationship with a narcissist and the narcissist tells you you know clocks you and tells you oh you, you're 20 minutes late from coming home from work and and you know you you might be stuck in traffic you might be uh running late or you might have stopped at the store you might have decided that you 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 just wanted to do whatever but that narcissist has so much control over you that they feel that if you're not home at six o'clock on the dot with not only home at six o'clock on the dot but dinner has to be done you know kids homework has to be has to be done and that narcissist is upstairs sleeping or that narcissist is doing absolutely nothing and you having to come home and do everything and having to be home right on time that is not that's not love that is abuse that is being possessive and if you find yourself you're watching this video and you find yourself if any of these things seem familiar to you you need to plan your exit you need to plan an escape because that is not love that is not a, the way any man or woman should be treating their partner or treating their mate and the abuser will sit there and say well i'm doing this because i love you i'm doing this because i care for you do not fall for that nobody you know control is 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 what it is it's control it's not love it's not concern it's not you know i i really care about you the narcissist and the control freak and the toxic person only cares about themselves they don't care about you they don't love you they don't even they don't even love themselves so how and there's and they're not capable of feeling the same kind of love the way that you and i feel so um I'm trying to think of other examples where the narcissist feels that they own you. Um, they'll try to control the, the you know, the friends that, that you hang out with. A uh, narcissist will, um, if you're in a, if you're in a dating relationship and that narcissist is trying to isolate you from your family and trying to make up things saying that oh she's trying to keep us apart they're trying to do this if i were you i would stay away from them if you feel that that narcissist is telling you what to do and telling you who to hang out with and telling you who to be who who to be in relationship with i don't care if that if that other family member is toxic or things like that it's as an adult it's up to you to figure these things out for yourself you know a normal person would say you know what I think that Susan is is really trying to start trouble and is being very toxic and you know whatever Susan's doing but you know it's up to you it's up to you it's it's entirely your decision of whether you want to be want to be bothered with with that person or not that's love because you're giving that person the freedom to to choose whether or not they want to be in relationship with that person or not but a narcissist feels that they have to they have to control the the situation then the narcissist will or, or the toxic person will say things like you're not going to hang out with that person anymore. You're not going to hang out with Susan anymore. Uh, Susan is a bitch or Susan is an asshole or Susan is this or Susan is that. And they find ways to isolate you from the people that, that are your family or your friends or things like that. Those are red flags. Those are huge, 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 red as a stop sign flags. And those are those are situations that I wouldn't tolerate. I wouldn't tolerate anybody. And the narcissist will will be helping on telling you, "Oh, I love you," and I, and you know, I don't want anything to happen to you, and I don't want you to go anywhere, and things like that. That is that is sick. That is being possessive, and that is someone you really, really, really need to get the hell away from.
So this is a quick video um, on how the narcissist feels that they own you. Please stay tuned for more videos. If you have any requests or anything that you want me to talk about on my, on my channel, please subscribe and please email me at kevinmurphy28 at yahoo.com. I'll have it in the, subscript, in the uh, description box. Um, I hope all you guys have a wonderful Thursday and I will talk to you later. Bye.